Hello and welcome to my channel uh, in this second encounter with SimRail 2021 demo. So in the first mission uh, or in the first video basically <laughs> or my first encounter with this game uh, I went through some tutorial mission well that tutorial mission the only tutorial mission that that is in the game so basically <laughs> uh, there is only one locomotive that we can drive and obviously uh, developers decided to put in a small tutorial for it was it good was it great mm, uh, not really it, it definitely told you how to use uh, the locomotive and i'm really happy about this it didn't explain all the features or how various different things work but it was intended to be a short tutorial and the rest the players have to discover on their own so i spent quite some time with the game already uh, i played through those scenarios quite a few times and i feel pretty confident to show you how to actually complete the main scenario of the demo is it going to be a perfect run uh, i doubt uh, especially that i'm going to be explaining what i'm doing as i go uh, and on top of that i might miss some explanations when it comes to signs and signals uh, so my apologies for that this video is not intended to teach you how to drive on polish railways because the rules are much more complex than what you will see in this scenario that is just one of the examples but i will try to do as many things properly as possible and i will try to explain you a few more things about how this particular unit works so perhaps you may find this video useful uh, during your own gameplay uh, because the demo is available for free on Steam so you can download it at any time and test it on your own. Right, let's crack on, shall we? Right, so we're back in the main menu of the game. As you can hear, it's... well, you might probably not hear that, but the main menu is quite loud you can't lower the volume of the main menu sounds so it's it's really annoying let's just rush through it okay uh, i i went through main menu builds and how it looks like in my first encounter video which you can find on youtube in the same playlist as this one so check out my channel and find simrail 2021 playlist and you will find my first impression video there Right, let's crack on. So, a railway line number one. Let's select that. Okay, we are not doing tutorial today. We are heading straight to main scenario, Zomkovice Benjin. We will be driving 34WE locomotive or multiple unit in this case. This is electric multiple unit on the route from Dombrova Gornica to Benjin. Right. Welcome to Simray Demo. You are at Dombrova Gurnicza Zombkowice station. Today you will run passenger train 4665 on the section Dombrova Gurnicza Zombkowice, Benjin. You will use the 34WE electric multiple unit to operate it. Okay, so same as in tutorial. Let's turn on the battery and let's crack on. Okay, we are inside the cabin. Now we need to activate the proper cabin. So since we are in cabin one, let's turn this on. Let's turn off SHP and uh, alerter. There we go. We need to press spacebar twice to reset each system separately. Now, what we can do, there are a few things that you can do at the same time. Let's raise the pantograph. We can turn on the radio, same as in tutorial. We can set our lights to shunting signal, because that's the proper one. Now that the main switch is active, we can technically turn it on. There we go, the locomotive is turning itself on. We can continue with the lights, let's dim them. Let's set the reverser forward. And release our brakes.
Okay. And we should now ready... Yeah, we should now be ready to get into platform. So, let's use ZW3 signal to Zen contact with the signaler. Ready to approach the platforms. Okay, now that we got permission, now that we got chanting signal in front of us, we can apply some power, about 16, maybe 20%. And let's roll. Okay. Alerter and SHP system went on. We reset them. Now we can let it coast. And let's roll into the platform. There we go. We don't need to rush. We are supposed to arrive at 5 past 12. And it's currently pretty much 3 past 12. So we got plenty of time to get ready. Definitely much more than in Train Sim World 2, where you usually get around 30 seconds to, to get things done. Right, as we are approaching the signal, we can now begin braking. So there are two types of brakes in this particular unit. The one that I've been using, which is incorporated into main lever that you use for increasing and decreasing power, is electrodynamic brake. So basically, it is controlled by the computer. So even if you crank it to 100%, the locomotive onboard computer will control your braking power. So that's basically, it will still be comfortable for the passengers. Obviously, the driver needs to accommodate for poor weather conditions, since it's bright, sunny day. We don't really need to worry about it. Right, so the next thing that we have to do is to unlock the doors. Uh, we can operate doors using I or P button on our keyboards. Or we can just turn this switch to correct position. So I'm going to use... P on my keyboard and as you can see the doors are now unlocked on the right side also since we are standing next to a very low platform I will activate a step so basically what it does let me go around the locomotive right are there any passengers trying to board uh, unfortunately not so we probably won't see the result of that. Do we? Hmm. There's still plenty of time, so maybe there will be someone. No, I don't think there will be. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Yeah, I, I don't think there is going to be anyone trying to board this train. That is extremely unfortunate. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to the cabin. What time is it? Okay. We are nearly at our departure time. As you can see in front of us, the signal already changed. So this particular signal informs us that we can pass this signal and continue at speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Okay, so let's deactivate the step. Let's lock the doors using I button. And we can now apply power. Let's apply about 30%. And we can slowly speed up. So that's the first thing that the game does wrong. Since the signal already allows us to... Oh, I failed to change my lights so let's adjust our lights to normal drive 
normal drive, there we go. Okay, since the signal already allowed us to drive at 40 kilometers per hour, you can straight away speed up and control your speed so that you won't go past 40 kilometers per hour. That is according to the rules. Obviously the game UI will tell you slightly different and will allow you to drive at 40 kilometers per hour only when you pass the signal. And right now we should continue with a speed of 40 kilometers per hour at least until we leave all the junctions. On top of that we are also approaching a neutral section which you can see on the catenary by this sign. So at this moment we are not supposed to draw any power for our locomotive from the catenary itself which means we can't speed up. For now we need to continue coasting. Obviously let's control alerter. There we go. And this sign informs us that we can now start drawing power from the catenary. So we can now apply some throttle about 50% and the UI should soon update with a proper speed limit. There we go. Now we can gradually increase our throttle and respond to all the signals and signs. Our next station is about 1.3 kilometers away. So we will have plenty of time to actually speed up. Let's make sure to not uh, not go above the speed limit. And now, those signs right behind the tunnel informed us that we are approaching a passenger stop. So let's begin slowing down. About 50% of brake force should be enough. And as you can see, we are approaching the platform. We can now increase braking power to make sure that we will stop within the platform limits. Obviously make sure to respond to alerter and SHP system. If you are slowing too fast, you can always release the brakes or partially release them. Okay, we are going to pull a little bit further down the platform. 50% of brake force. Let's make sure we are stopped. There we go, let's unlock the doors. And let's release the dynamic brake. Perfect. Now the passenger, yeah, passengers are boarding train. Perfect. We can see that in the mirror that retracts every time we operate the doors. Perfect. Right. So it's now 10 past 12. We are pretty much on time. That is very, very good. Okay, again we are ready to depart. Let's lock the doors using I button. And let's apply some power. We will begin from about 50%. And when our train reaches about 20, 25 kilometers per hour, we can crank it all the way up to 100%. Okay, this sign with a track on it informs us that we are approaching level of crossing, uh, crossing. So we are supposed to sound our horn. And again, another sign informs us that we are approaching another platform. So let's begin to brake. Again, about 60% of brakes. The platform is closing very, very fast. 
we can increase the braking force all the way down to 100. Let's respond to alerter. And now we should make our stop pretty much close to the middle of the platform, I believe. Perhaps closer to the end. But we should still be in a good spot. There we go. We are stopped. We can unlock the doors on the left side this time. So we are using I button. And as you can see, yeah, the passengers are boarding the train. Perfect. You can already prepare to move. Perfect. So now we need to wait for train director to let us know that we are done with the boarding. Again, everything happens through the radio. You can also observe this marker because basically train director will let you know when the boarding is finished and that's the progress bar for it or in that case, progress circle. Ready for Perfect, let's lock the doors and let's crack on. There we go, again, about 50% of power. Let's roll until we reach about 25, 30 kilometers per hour. Then we can crank it all the way up to 100%. Next stop is in about three and a half kilometers. Obviously observe the alerter, which are those yellow lights and red lights for SHP system and observe the markers. So again, we are approaching another level crossing. Keep control over your speed. As you can see, we are approaching our speed limit of 120 kilometers per hour. So again, I will put the train into a coast and we can now enjoy the ride and there we are that's the level crossing and now we are approaching a yellow light so the next light will display a red signal aspect so let's begin to slow down Because we don't want to pass signal at danger, obviously. That's that's not going to happen. We are also approaching another level crossing. Another signal on... Well, another sign on... On the catenary post. There we go. Let's keep slowing down at the steady pace. 50% should be enough. We can already see the red signal in front of us. And again, if you are slowing down too fast, you can always release the brakes and roll a little bit closer to the signal. Um, basically, the rule of thumb is to stop so that you can see the signal in the first place, but you have to stop, well, basically you are trying to stop as close to the signal as humanly possible. Yeah, so obviously we don't want to go past it. So let's stop our train and make sure that that we are stopped in front of the signal. There we go, we got plenty of time. So, now, we can contact with the signaler. Requesting permission to enter the station. There we go. So we are informed that we are gonna get permissive or substitute signal, which is that white blinking light. It will stay on for 90 seconds. So that's how much time you got to go past this signal. This signal also allows us to enter the station with a speed no greater than 40 km per hour. So keep control over your speed. React to alerter. And let's get going. Okay, 30 km, 32 Let's let it coast. By the time that the power will go down, we should reach 35. That's perfectly fine. Let's check the time. 
12.16. We are supposed to stop at 12.18. So we got still a lot of time. Also, one thing to note, which I, which is my mistake, I just realized that when you are setting off after being stopped on red signal, you should always sound your horn. But that's small and minor technicality and it will come up to you as you practice. But, well, I haven't done that, but that's a good point for you to improve. Okay, we are now entering the platforms we still got about 40 seconds to to make that stop okay let's pull closer to the end i can apply about 50 percent of braking force there we go you can also observe your braking force on that first bar on the screen if you are turning off your ui so those displays are actually working same goes for your doors. As you can see, I will now unlock the left doors. And the indicators for the doors have changed. As they keep opening. Because passengers are now boarding the train. Perfect. Right, so let's wait for train director to let us know that we can depart. And we will continue our journey. We can now observe the mirrors. There's still a passenger waiting there. I'm not sure if she wants to board the train or not. Or is it a guy? can't really see. Oh no, that's just a lady that's chilling. Oh, but this guy is actually trying to do something silly. Right, so we are ready for departure. Let's lock the doors. And same as always. We may now continue. About 50% of power. The speed limit is now 100 km per hour. It changed shortly uh, uh, before we reached that red light. I didn't actually mention that. But thankfully the game is actually giving you those tips. Okay, we are speeding up nicely. The light is green. You can barely see that because... The game doesn't really have anti-aliasing at the moment. Obviously, remember to respond to SHP and alerter. There we go. We are now driving nicely, 100 kilometers per hour. And once more, according to this sign, we are approaching next platform. Also, right in front of this sign, there was a rectangular sign with 11 on it, which means that our speed limit got raised up to 110 km per hour. We will apply about 50% of braking power. And make our stop at this platform. If you feel that you are braking too fast, you can reduce the braking power or release the brakes completely. Remember to keep responding to alerta and SHP. Okay, we can apply full braking power. Hopefully I'm not gonna overshoot. I don't think I will overshoot the station. Okay, there we go. We are very close to W4 marker, which is right in front of us. We can now unlock the doors. The passengers are now boarding the train. Perfect. I think we were just a few seconds late on, on this stop. But, well, you can improve again by practicing on your own.
just a tiny bit more. Passengers are probably still boarding the train. No, nobody is next to the door. Ready for departure. Okay, perfect. Let's lock the doors. P button again, because the platform is to our left. Then to lock it, we need to move that knob to opposite direction. I actually applied 100% power, but that doesn't really matter. As you can see, the train is controlling the throttle on its own, more or less. And so we are still speeding up at a steady pace. Okay, we can now release the throttle to make sure that we won't go over the speed limit. There we go, we are right on the spot. And let's travel to another station. Don't worry if the train slows down a little bit. We are going to stop really soon anyway. Uh, as you can see, the next signal is yellow. You can see that here next to the bridge. And we are also approaching another station. So let's begin to slow down. About 50, perhaps 60% of brakes. There we go. That should give us enough braking power. We can already see the platform. We are doing 70 kilometers per hour on approach. That's perfect speed. And our stop is gentle enough so that passengers won't feel anything. Even though in those weather conditions, as I mentioned before, you can even crank up the brake all the way to 100% and it shouldn't be too much for this unit. Obviously, if it's raining, then you have to reduce your braking power a little bit and start braking a little bit sooner. Mostly because... Well, the automatic system might not be able to respond to wet trucks. Right, the doors are now unlocked. Passengers are boarding. And now, since we passed next to yellow signal, or orange signal in that case, then obviously I'm expecting the next signal to be red. I can't really see my next signal because it's behind those posts somewhere. But I can... or... no. I can actually see that signal right here. Okay, I, I thought it's a signal for the next track. But that's how difficult it is to spot signals on a bend. Yeah, you, you are not always sure which one is which. Especially in the game which has such poor anti-aliasing. But you can see our next signal is red. Unfortunately, contacting with a signaler right now. Uh, perhaps we can now close the doors and begin to move. I will just move off slowly. I don't want to crank the power all the way up to full. Because I'm not sure if we will be able to pass that red signal. So, what we can do is to contact with a signaler. Probably the game won't allow me to do it right now. Yeah. That, that beep informs us that we are not yet within the zone. But right now, the prompt is telling us, yeah, let's contact with the signaler. So let's do that. Let's let it coast. And obviously respond to all those messages. And as you can see, the signal has changed. So we can now crack on. Obviously, when you are approaching to the signal very slowly... You need to make sure that it changes before you speed up. If it doesn't change, and you feel like you are starting to get too close, it's better to stop than to go past signal at danger. Yeah, You can always roll in closer to the signal and make sure that you first stop and then contact with the signaler. It should be perfectly fine. Either way. Right, we are now entering the final platform at Benjin. So let's make sure to stop within the platform limits. There we go. And as soon as the train stops, we should be good. There we go. 
Yeah. Perfect. The train is now stopped and we can open the doors. And that's the end of our scenario. So let's see how we done. As you can see, our time looks pretty good. We were pretty much on time on every station. Those couple of seconds early or late doesn't really matter. It matters for the game. Uh, but privately for me, like if my train would arrive at those times, I would be grand. Yeah, like how many times you've been traveling by train and you've seen this kind of precision. <laughs> I can guarantee you that this is far above the expectations. <laughs> Although yes, the game uh, the game has an achievement if you manage to crank all these times pretty much to zero minutes zero seconds. Uh, so you can give it a try on your own uh, by downloading the demo. Uh, I strongly encourage you to do so. Uh, while the game still has some bugs and issues, it is playable uh, at at the very least. So you can give it a try on your own, and well share your results uh, you can do so on my discord server uh, you can join it by following the link in description down below this video obviously i strongly encourage you to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or thumbs down if you did not <laughs> uh, which may happen so uh, which may happen i i'm i'm really not bothered by that but yeah uh if if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you want to be informed about my next video uploads, uh, press that bell button right next to subscribe button and you will be informed by great YouTube. <laughs> and finally, well, have fun and stay safe. I hope to catch you next time. Bye bye.